We start the week with two Northwest Gardening luminaries who love a little friendly competition. Today, Cisco Morris and Ed Hume's challenge is about who has the better idea for plants to gift. So good morning. Cisco, good morning. normally you're here with me. Ed, thank you for being our oh, guest. And so and since you are, we're going to let him start. Is that right, okay? okay? I just have to tell Ed that I'm going to beat the Tweedle no, out of you in this no, competition. No, no, no. That's all I just... Look, look what I have... <laughs> Uh, to start with, oh. the largest <gasps> poinsettia oh that hanging basket big. in the world. Wow. How big is that? Well, How many plants? not really in the world, but pretty good size. Uh, <laughs> there, uh, there's over 30 uh, blossoms on that. That wow. is awesome. Isn't that gorgeous? Can you beat that? Well, quick, that is can I be ask tough. one quick question? <laughs> sure. That is so large, I need a really secure place to hang that, right? Don't you just bet. put it on any old Because hook. it's heavy, and when you water it, it's even heavier. See, so he it. brings and a plant that's going to rip your ceiling <laughs> right down. Yeah. And look at the world's oh. smallest. Oh, that's oh, a And oh this my is gosh. for you. That's it's a oh, gift. Oh, no. He brings a chihuahua, a and great a Dane and a chihuahua, you know. Okay, like... this is the last of the poinsettias. But this is one called tapestry. Look at the Isn't leaves. Isn't it different? That the is, variegated that's, that's beautiful. Leaves. I got to admit it. That you like is, those I leaves. like yeah. that pretty yeah. much. Yeah. <laughs> all right, thank you. Okay. Let's okay. go a turn all here. Right. Should I back up? I'm uh, concerned all about all what right, might yeah. happen. The first one I want to show is this Stephanotis. They call it uh, this one. Uh, right something or other jasmine. Smell the flower. Alrighty. Ooh, oh, I saw it. Yummy. Your socks rolled up and down <laughs> when you sniffed that. That's delicious. It's so wonderful. Now, mm. the one trick about this I got to tell people, you want to keep this in a nice sunny spot in the house, okay. although it doesn't like full sun, but real bright. But the thing is, this normally blooms during summer. But they force it to do it now. So you got to make sure you keep it evenly moist till the flowers quit. Then let it go a little dormant, hardly water. And I'll put it outside next summer. And it probably won't bloom this summer, but the next summer it'll bloom then all it'll summer be great. long again. Will it get again. bigger? Yeah. So, get, they so get you a spend lot the rest of your life taking care of that darn plant. <laughs> Okay, hey, and so your turn. the whole house smells so fragrant. It does smell good. Look here, I've got to share right. these with you. Oh, this is a calancho, sweet. but they've always been single. These are double flowered. Yeah. They're like little roses, absolutely gorgeous. This one is kind of a yellow orange, and this is pure white with a poinsettia in the middle. Ed, are these kind of semi-succulents, yeah. or tell me what kind of plants? Yeah, it's, it concept. tends to be on the succulent side. And in Belgium and in uh, Holland, the women wear, uh, wear, they put these in the east window, and they flower almost all year long. Wow. They are uh, really great okay, plants. Okay, tell the truth here. How many of these have you got to reflower after the first year? You know, if you take care of them and put them in the right spot, they will. Like I said, the east window, yes. <laughs> Live you do that, was, that was the <laughs> nicest putting someone in their place <laughs> I've ever heard. You got to watch for that. Ed. He's quick, I'll tell you what. All okay, right. Cisco, you're Okay, turn. so this is a bromeliad. It's called Varicia splendens. Mm -hmm or a uh, uh, beautiful sword. That's so pretty. And so you get this beautiful foliage, you get this wonderful flower, and you know who you give this to? The person that murders every plant they get and they feel so guilty, because this is gonna die as soon as it's done blooming, oh, which will wait two to three months, and then you can tell them, just throw it in the compost pile, so and keep this is going. perfect for the plant murder. Okay, okay. that's now, good to know. let's go outside. And how about this plant? This is the Sasanqua camellia, the winter flowering camellia. And they are in bloom at this time of the year wow. in the garden. And they'll take a little bit more abuse by that a little bit more sunlight than the regular camellias, mm -hmm. which really need a shady spot. Yeah, well. and we all these need are, a plant like yeah. these that. Are for gorgeous. This. How many birds are love these too? That's, I know that yeah. makes you happy. Oh, yeah. So oh, you I should probably agree there. on that one. Yeah, right? we actually, I got to agree. That one's spectacular. Okay, okay. back so, over here. All right, so most everybody gives one of these uh, Phalaenopsis, which are the moth orchid. Mm -hmm. Everybody loves these, and what happens? They quit blooming. People don't know what to do. They don't like this foliage into the compost pile, of course. 
If you've got a guy that knows how to garden well, friend, you want me to hold this up so get him this it? one. Yeah, look at this <laughs> intricate flower in it's there, cool. and uh, it's so colorful, and it'll rise up even more. Will it be, will <clears> the leaves <throat> turn this? <laughs> yeah, I, I busted that in a car this morning, okay. putting it in a car, but, <clears throat> but they bloom for three months. Wow. And this is a lady slipper, and the thing, they oh, also have... a lady slipper. Yep, I've always heard that name, and I didn't know what it was. Beautiful foliage, and every spring they come up with a new flower. They're so easy to take care of. So you'll have this forever, that that's you'll have the, for one okay, season. Okay, that's the one yeah. to get. Okay. And then we'll go back outside again. In bloom at this time of the year is the hellebore, and this is the Christmas rose. Remember, roses were single. That's where it got its name, Christmas Rose. And there are a whole bunch of different varieties of hellebore, but this is the one that does bloom during the holiday season, That's nice. making it really an outstanding plant. And it'll come back year after year after year. Give it a little protection from the sun. It needs shade okay. to can really do well. Can I plant it now, or is it too late? Oh, yeah, they can, can go, go right into the garden They're hardy as a rock. Yes. You know you like and you can well. enjoy yeah. them inside now, and then as soon as they get through flowering, plant them out. They'll do great. Perfect. Okay, I got the grand finale that's going to blow out? it out of the water, okay. so you got to get that out of there if you can. Lord, what are we talking about here? Oh! oh. All right, oh. now why wow. am I bringing a the coolest dragon you ever saw in your life. <laughs> Let me move things away so that you right. can do what you need to because do. Because I love these little air plants I do too. so Those much. Are so cool. They're so gorgeous. But if you're going to give one to someone, why not give them something cool to hold them? That's a good idea. Y yeah, so, it kind of breaks the bank uh, when you do that. Uh, <laughs> well, this was a little expensive. What, what's a hundred bucks for a good friend, oh, you know? Oh, Lordy, the air plants are how much? Uh, the air plant, believe it or not, this oh, one like was like head. eight bucks. This one was 29 bucks. Huh. I don't know what's with it. And look at this one. I love these. Is that They're the so coolest? Creepy. Doesn't it look like a little squid? You know what I yeah. would do? I would put a little plate out for all my uh, dinner guests, and I'd put one in each little serving dish. And Wait but for them you to gotta eat it. remember <laughs> to tell them it's a plant. Don't eat that. Because I sort of got that looks like a little squid. I just love that. That one's one. really cool. But I love the way you. Isn't this, this on, the coolest the thing the you ever there. saw? So you I were do doing like pretty good, Ed, till I came out with the clincher here. <laughs> that was no, it for no, sure. No, as no, usual, no, as no, usual, no. it is a dead tie. All right. oh, and right. that's after you even gave See, her a box of chocolate. So, <laughs> hey, all right, I did pretty good. <laughs> I love these two. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for the chocolates. And tell you Myrna bet. the same thing. I appreciate it so much. All right, that was fun. When we come back, what were the top movies of the past decade? We gave three Seattle film critics the big task of narrowing it down to just ten. Find out how many of them you've seen and what you think after this.